Today's video, we're going to talk about the things we hated about Sturgis. So let's get to it and find out why we said what we did. Hi, my name's Bob. And I'm Tam. We are Bob, Bob and Tam's, Tam's Excellent, Excellent Adventures. Adventures. So, you know, we got a lot of comments. We got a lot of views. You know, when I looked at that the other day, we're about 25,000 views on what we hate about Sturgis. Do we hate Sturgis? S no. Since then, we put out what we like about Sturgis. You know, why do we do that? There's a lot of people who question us, you know, maybe you ought to shouldn't go if you didn't like it, or you didn't like this, or maybe you're a bunch of crybabies, or this or that, or anything else. You know, here's why we did the video that we did. You know, anytime you go someplace, things don't go the way you want to go. And you know, you kind of complain about it, you don't say a whole lot about it, you only remember the good times. And that's the way everybody is on everything. You know, the world isn't all rosy clean, and the world is all crystal shiny, and there's rainbows, and you know, all this other crazy stuff going on. Rainbows and butterflies. There you go. Whatever. So, we just wanted to let you know things that we, you know, some of the things that we talked about, which we're going to go over again, you know, actually came from some of the people that made comments on our YouTube channel. Also, people that we met that kind of complained about some different things like that. So, you know, not necessarily every single thing was our personal opinion, but, you know, a lot of them we did agree with, too. You know, one of the things we talked about is the stores. You know, it kind of sucked that, that Sturgis doesn't have any big grocery stores and things like that. You know, we know it's a little bitty small town. What do they got, 6,000 people there? And pretty much when Sturgis isn't there or there's not an event going on, there's nothing going on in that town. We've driven down those streets before the rally and after the rally, and uh, the only thing missing was tumbleweeds. You know, you know uh, and it's sad. You know, and if they didn't do these events, the town would probably just... You know, they're up and go away. Yeah, there'd probably be a couple gas stations on the edge of town, and that would be it. You know, it'd probably be sucked up by Rapid City or something, or Spearfish. You know, but I mean, that's one of the things that, you know, when you're there. You go in the grocery store, you can't find out what you need. You go down to the other grocery store, they ain't got what you need. So now what are you going to do? You're going to drive 20 miles one way or the other to get something you really need. So, you know, that is a bad thing. And that it does kind of suck when that happens. But, you know, is it the end of the world? No. Maybe, you, that maybe whatever you needed to run all the way to Walmart for, you really didn't need anyway. So, you know, you, you don't. <laughs> so you can look at it that way, and they force you to wear a mask and all that crazy stuff inside Walmart. So, you know, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. No, it wasn't. But we did have people that came out of the grocery store when we were walking in, and they're like, oh, they didn't have my beer that they wanted, or they didn't have a cooler that I wanted to buy. You know, so, you know, there, there, there is those things. So those are one of the, there, there you go. There's an idea of why we put that one on the list. You know, one of the ones that she hated, which was her personal one, is... Grasshoppers. You know, and we just had a girl come on the other day, and she said that she hated those two when she was walking her dog, too. They were jumping everywhere. You know, it didn't really bother me, but they jump on you and grab on. And <laughs> I hate they, those they, things. Were, they wanted to ride for her. They wanted to go for I don't care where I'm at. I don't like grasshoppers. <laughs> I think it was this year it was so dry. You know, most of the grass especially around Sturgis and Rapid City and stuff, was, was pretty much dying. And I think that's what brought the grasshoppers out more, I guess. I'm not a grasshopper expert. And they and, wouldn't even move. If they got on the steps, I was throwing stuff at them to get them to get off the steps so I could get in the trailer, and yeah. they wouldn't budge. Yeah. So you walk toward them, and they'll jump on you. So, you know, so is it the worst thing in the world? No. You know, we talked about mosquitoes. Somebody said there's no such thing as chiggers there. There is actually another... Uh, insect. I don't know, do you remember what the other insect's called? Well, the one in Florida. I call them chiggers. I don't care what they are. If they get under your skin and they itch like crazy and the only way you can kill them is with fingernail polish, they're chiggers. But down in Florida, they call them no see -ums. Yeah. So, there, there probably is something in South Dakota. Maybe they don't call it a chigger. Maybe they call it something else. Who knows? But, I mean, it's some kind of bug. So, you know, we're not getting technical here. We're not scientists. We're just kind of giving you what we see, the facts we think, and things we think about. You know, some of the other things we talked about on the video was, you know, the traffic. And somebody said, well, what do you expect for coming to Sturgis? Well, no, that, that's right. You know, we, we expect if there's 400,000 people there throughout the Black Hills. You're going to have traffic. Yeah, there's going to be, you're going to run into traffic. You know, so, but isn't it a pain? You know, you're sitting there in Sturgis, your bike, what's the, this year wasn't so bad. Let's say it's up around 100 degrees, and that traffic's backed all the way to the highway on LaZalle, and you're idling in. How long is it going to take for your clutch to overheat or your bike to overheat or you to burn up on it because it's, you're burning your freaking legs on it? So, you know, those are things that you're probably sitting there going, Ugh, you know, you're complaining to yourself. I know my buddy. I'm going to put his name on here, Art. My buddy Art, I'm going to, I'm going to call him out. You know, 
he's the kind of guy that I, I could hear him cussing in his helmet and with that hot weather. So, you know, so we're just trying to let out some of the stuff that I know you're thinking about when you're sitting in that traffic jam. You know, and another thing we talked about is prices. You know, when somebody came on the other day and said, you know, you ain't from California. You know, this is almost like half price of what we pay in California. Well, you're right. Depending on where you're coming from, you know, California was probably close to $5 a gallon for gas, and it was a little over 2 bucks a gallon in Sturgis. So, yeah, that's half price if you came from California. You know, and it's like I say, people say, oh, you know, some other people did agree and said, you know, it is way too high. They're jacking the prices up all the time. Have you ever been to Disney World? You know, have you ever been any place that there's an event going on? A movie theater. You yeah. pay like $8 for a soda and $25 for a bucket of popcorn. Yeah. Now, you go to California, and it's 30 to $50 now to go to the movie theater. It's insane. So, you know, so, yeah, everything's going up in price. And you expect to go to an event like this, and it's going to cost you. And you could save money. You could save money. And there is ways. You know, you can camp in somebody's front yard. Uh, we actually showed a couple places that you could get over by Butte Mountain. You could stay for 11 bucks a day. There's all kinds of other options to save you money. You could eat in your in your campsite if you've got a tent or if you've got a trailer or whatever you've got. You're staying somewhere at a motel. You could eat in there. You could bring a jar of peanut butter and some some bread and you have a sandwich every day. That saves you some money. You need some beanie weenies. You could buy your own beer. You know, drink it at the campground. You know, wait till you get back to drink. Go back and party more with your friends at your campground or your motel, wherever you're at. You know, some of the camp, some of the motels there in Sturgis, they had tables out front you could sit in and things like that. Yeah, easy ups you could sit under. In the and day. Uh, I'm not sure what the Sturgis rule is if you're on private property sitting out front like that, if you can drink alcohol or not. But I seen some people there when you were going up uh, Junction on the right side heading towards the highway. I did see some people in their own yard that were drinking. So, I'm assuming if you're on private property, you could drink. You just couldn't drink on the street. But uh, don't hold me to that. I'll have to call the police and ask them that one. Add it to my list of things to talk to the Sturgis PD about. So, you know, so that, that's one of the other things we talked about. The, the worst thing is, is the price. And it is expensive. Just like we just talked about in the video right before this one, we talked about how well, expensive it's going to be for us to camp at the Buffalo Chip. You know, that's a lot of money for what you're getting. You know, and if you take advantage of everything that's going on in some of these places and some of these campgrounds you go to. Last year we stayed at Kathmandu. That was expensive. It was about 800 bucks for that week and a few days. So, but I mean, what are you getting? You know, we use the showers there every day. You know, we use the bathrooms there. You know, the spots were pretty good. It was quiet. So, you know, overall, you know, what was it? 12 days? But I mean, that's not bad. Where are you going to stay? You can't hardly stay in a hotel anymore for under 100 bucks a night. And who knows what's in those beds. Bed bugs. <laughs> They're okay. everywhere. Uh, one of the reasons people say, why do you got an RV? Well, there's one of the reasons. <laughs> we don't want bed bugs. Not saying there's any in Sturgis. Not saying there is or there isn't. You let us know if you got any. And we'll see. Stay away from San Francisco. <laughs> so, we'll leave that at that. So we'll go ahead and list more about why we did it. So all this is what this was about. You know, and I, my, one of my pet peeves, which it really didn't drive me crazy, but I mean, it drives me crazy where I'm at or anywhere I drive. People don't turn their turn signals on. You know, somebody slams their brakes on and turns. Or they cut in front of you and you have to hit your brakes. You know, they're not considerate. You know, and I had somebody else comment saying too, yeah, they hated, you know, from the Midwest, we call it the blinkers. And when you're in California, you got to say it's a turn signal. So whatever you may call it, we call it a blinker. And if you're not turning that blinker on, blinky, 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 you're not turning that blinker on, you're supposed to be letting people know where you're going. And don't be that guy that's driving down the road for 10 miles. It's got his right hand blinker on. You know, I got words for that guy too. But is that the worst thing in the world? No. But like I say, all these things we talked about in this video was all the things that if you're in Sturgis or if you're anywhere, you're thinking about the same thing when you're sitting in the car. You look over there and there's somebody, you know, we've driven in L.A. traffic before. Somebody's over there and they got their iPad out and they're doing their homework or they're reading the newspaper or putting their makeup on. And you're telling me you smile and wave? You know, you didn't think of anything or you didn't cuss to yourself or whatever you might have done? You know, we know that all the things we said, you know, it is all, it all, it doesn't matter. That's part of life. The crap just happens. Things happen. You know, the day doesn't go perfect. It rains. It snows. Somebody else said that when I said the weather. Well, we do have weather out here in South Dakota. Well, no joke. So do we where we're at. 
You know, it's 116 degrees yesterday where we're at in Arizona. So, you know, some people might say that's hot. Well, we were out there in that weather yesterday. You know, it's okay for us. We're all right with 115 degrees because we're from Arizona now. So, but I mean, everybody's different. So that's the point that we want to make on this video is, which it worked out great. I wanted conversation. I wanted you guys. You guys had called us names and said we were pussies and we didn't like this and we shouldn't. We were whiners and criers and all that crazy stuff. You know, that was okay. We were all right with that because that's what the video was all about. We wanted you to get out and tell us what you thought. You know, we had a lot of people watch that video and only a few commented. You know, and it's probably going to go on and on. This video will probably run, and that's kind of why we made it. We wanted it to run forever. And hopefully next year people will be watching the things. But I mean, that's things you should think about. Just like we talked about the wind. You know, the guy next to us had no idea when his canopy blew off his awning off the front of his trailer that the wind blew that hard out there. You know, if you came through Wyoming, which is the direction we come from, it had on all the signs. Don't leave awnings out if you're RVing. Don't leave things up. Because you can get 50 mile an hour winds. We had them while we were in Sturgis, there was 50 mile an hour winds. There's a lot of times when you're out on an adventure, you don't want to count things that go bad or things that go good. Or Of course you want to count the things that go good. But the <laughs> things that go bad, you know, and everybody always remembers that. You know, the good things, not so much the bad things. So, you know, here's what we wanted to do is we just wanted to let you guys know that there is things that can happen out there on the road. You know, things that happen in an event. You know, it could be anything from the price of things because it's so expensive to things that are the wind's really bad that blows you off the road or the hail that beats you all up because you didn't forgot to bring your helmet. <laughs> You know, there's all kinds of things out there. And that's kind of what this hate video was about. To let people think about all that kind of stuff. To realize that, you know, crap happens. And, and I know everybody knows that. But the idea was to get a conversation going, get you guys to respond to us, and give us some good input. And we did. You know, and some people kind of went the other way around it. You know, you're sissies, or you shouldn't go. Don't come back anymore. You know, you just seen the video Friday came out all about what we like about Sturgis. You know, we already booked Sturgis. If you watch that video, I think it came out on Wednesday, where we're staying at. Go back and check that one out. Here, I'll put a link up there. Check that one out. That's all about where we're staying at this year, 2021. And if you want to come out and stay and camp with us, there you go. You know, and other people said, well, you bring a trailer. Well, we've rode the Sturgis. You know, we've rode all the way from, we lived in California for 17 years. We rode all the way from San Diego all the way up the coast. We went through Oregon, went through Idaho, went through Yellowstone, and went to Sturgis. You know, so we have rode. And she rode her own bike that year. That was the last time that she got to go on a long trip before all of her ailments that uh, came up and creeped up on her to where she can't really ride anymore. She's more scared of dropping the bike than she is more that she can't ride. So, you know, that's why we have a toy hauler now. You know, also with the editing now, you know, I spend four to five hours every single night and I'm not complaining. I like doing this. This is a lot of fun, but I have to spend that time editing. You know, if I'm in a tent, or we're, you know, I don't want to be sitting down at Starbucks no or, yeah, or whoever we're at trying to find some kind of internet to upload this because this just doesn't magically come off my camera and show up on your TV or in your phone or your computer. You know, we got to use the internet. We got to find Wi-Fi. Well, we pay for that in our RV. We have a hotspot that sends up, picks it up, and we're using AT&T right now. And we're looking at a new adventure to find... Uh, Another source, because ours is going to expire here in November, a uh, new source for our Wi-Fi. And if we find a good one, we're going to let you guys know who it is. And we're thinking about we're thinking about a new one right now, and we'll let you know about that a little bit later. But, I mean, that's some of the things you got to think about when, you know, you look at us and go, oh, he's got an RV. And somebody else said I had a trike. I don't own a trike. And if you watch some of the videos, you did see my motorcycle. Yes, we rode a trike. We rode a Boss Hoss. And that is in that one video about the hater. You can kind of see the tank there, us riding on it. But you know what? We just wanted to put some of the different videos on there and some of the hot spots. Because it was. It was one of the things that we did when we were there. Uh, the CEO wanted us to ride one, and we took it out and rode it. Gave my honest opinion about it. You know, we're not ready for a trike yet. And uh, Maybe Mike, one day. Yeah, maybe one day we might own one. But right now, no. But I mean, that they're a great bike. But that's a whole other story, and that was a video back. You should go back and check those out. You know, we had a whole thing here all about Sturgis. You know, this kind of really wraps up Sturgis and it's kind of the end of it. But we just kind of want to let you all know that, you know, bad things happen. You know, the weather can change or that can change. The wind can blow you. The, you know, the prices are high. There's no grocery store. Well, there's a couple grocery stores. There's bugs. <laughs> yeah. There's no big Walmart in Sturgis and all this kind of stuff. You know, because somebody, like I say, somebody could be coming from an area that has no idea what's in Sturgis and 
And people show videos, oh, I'm at Walmart, or I'm over at Target, or I'm here and there, and didn't realize they had to drive 30 miles down the highway to Rapid it. City to get to it. Or go the other way to Spearfish to see Walmart. So maybe you're not a Walmart shopper. Well, that's fine too. But that's the point of what this video was all about. To give you that, you know, and it went crazy. I think it went viral. And uh, that's great. We love it. That helps support us. And people ask us, how, how can we help you guys? Well, one of the things on YouTube is, how do we make any money on this? We're making a little bit of money. I barely bought some new cameras that I just bought uh, and some new equipment. So the trip that we're getting ready to take in October, it's all on us. And we are retired, if you haven't figured that out yet. I uh, retired a year and a half ago. We're not 62. We're not 65. We're not getting any Social Security. So we're living off of our, our retirement money that we have. That's it. So with YouTube, we get paid a little bit. And how does that work? By you watching the video. If you watch a video from start to finish all the way through, we get about a quarter of a cent. You might say, wow, that ain't nothing. Well, here's how you can watch, make us more money. If you watch those commercials in the beginning, and if I put any in the middle, and if I put any at the end, if you watch those commercials, we make about three to four cents per that watch. So that's how we make money. And somebody asked us at Sturgis how we do that. And they said, you ought to put that on your video. A lot of us didn't know that. We just zipped through the commercials because we're not interested. So if you do watch those commercials, you are giving us a few pennies and pennies add up to dollars and dollars add up to tens and so on. So, you know, we were hoping to maybe make about $500 a month to help pay for our gas and things like that. And it's too early to tell because we only started getting paychecks here in August. So we really haven't been getting too much yet to see how this is going to go. Sturgis we did really well in, but you know, now we're into the next months. So we'll see how that goes. So that's one more way that you can check us out. Uh, we do sell t-shirts. I don't have one on today, but we have t-shirts down there in the link. You go down and hit that little arrow pointing down if you're watching on YouTube. And there's a place you can go on there and get uh, t-shirts. You can order them. Uh, we make like three bucks on each t-shirt. We don't have them. They go to a company, they print them up, and they send them out. So it's not any cost to us, which is which is kind of neat. We'll probably get some more in there right now. I only got some guy shirts in there. We'll probably do some women's shirts soon. But what I have to do is when I order it, I have to. She has to buy some right away, or they take it down. So right now they're still up there for the last couple of shirts that I we put up there. So that's another way you can buy stuff. We're looking to get some affiliate pages soon. Uh, we'll explain what that is later on. Something we're thinking about doing, which I don't know if we have an interest here on our channel. We grew very, very fast. We started this channel in December of 2019. And in Sturgis, the first week of August, we got what they call monetized and we had already had our thousand subscribers. Anybody that's thinking about getting a YouTube channel or wanting to do a YouTube channel, that's your most important thing that you wanna know. Well, we grew very quickly after that. We're actually thinking about doing a series which would be all free. We paid it for a course through another YouTuber to kind of show us some ideas. I never really watched all the videos, but I got enough out of the first couple ones to kind of got us going to where we are today. And I do go back once in a while, which I haven't gone back in a while, to watch some more of the videos that we paid for, but I haven't done that yet. But if you're interested in learning how we got to where we are today and you'd like to be a YouTuber, we could do videos like, let's say, one every Wednesday for four to six weeks. I don't know how long it's going to take us to show you everything that we do. Uh, from everything from how we started it, how we grew, how we found it, because there's a whole lot of misinformation out there. We lost, you can look at my subscribers now, last week when I went back and looked, we lost over 700 subscribers. And we will tell you on these videos how that happened and it wasn't people that just didn't like watching us anymore there's some things that we did that people told us to do to get more subscribers get more watch time you know get all these different things and it doesn't work it could turn around and bite you in the butt on the way around <laughs> so if you're interested in that well, let us know in the comments you know because that's another videos that we could do because we we know as we get into november december and January, there's not going to be a whole lot of stuff for us to film. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with what we're doing right now, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're putting videos out. I don't know how we'll do, you know, because during the pandemic, we were putting out about one every two weeks because we were stuck in the house. So we'll tr try to still find things. We'll go out to Vegas, maybe film some stuff that's going on in Vegas. We'll go to some of the other towns around here. We got some great rides around here. If you're going to come to the Laughlin River Run that we could go on this fall when it's a little cooler, show you some of that great stuff and things. If you're thinking about coming out for that here in Arizona, that's the last week, fourth week of April. Check us out. And if you let us know about any of those things, hey, I'm happy to make those kind of videos. If there's other things you'd like to see or like to learn about, uh, let us know. 
We'll put some more information out. We'll probably get some more stuff about things that we're upgrading on our RV, things like that. But I mean, hopefully this answers a lot of the questions about that video. Uh, even gave you some more information you probably didn't want to know, but now you know. So we're going to go ahead and wrap the video up right here because we're heading out. We're already in Oklahoma when you're watching this. And we've got the whole month of October. We're hitting all those events. Uh, hopefully I told you about all those. Because our camera stopped right in the middle of this. My new camera that I bought because it said it was overloaded with video and ended up it wasn't, but it was to its little brain. But uh, we actually did two videos right now today that we put on here. So it did decided to do, it wanted to stop and I didn't have the camera turned around. So we don't know what we've said and what we haven't said. Yeah. So if you heard it twice, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So I'll try to edit all that down. But this is all videos that we're trying to get done before I hit the road next week, which was last week. To show you some videos while we're getting to Adam Sandoval's uh, Cave River Campground. So that's pretty neat. And we'll be talking from you there. Hopefully we've got some good internet service there that we can send to you. Or we'll be hanging out at Starbucks. I don't think there's a Starbucks in Antler. We're bound by Antler. And Warrior, Oklahoma. Antler is supposed to be the deer country of, of the U.S. That's what they say. That's why it's called Antler. Hey, everybody's got Antlers. We'll show you some of that stuff. So stay tuned. Keep watching. And leave you with this. Thanks for coming along today. We appreciate all of you guys, and we do like Sturgis, and we just wanted some feedback from all of you guys, which we got, and we're happy to hear from you. Hopefully, we'll meet you on some of our adventures coming up in October. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share with your family and friends. Ring that bell for notification. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video. And maybe we'll do what we hate about Daytona. <laughs> <laughs>